Hey guys, if you're in one, and I'm talking about Jeff Keighley. Now, those of you who don't know who Jeff Keighley is, he is usually a three. He's a big part of like the overall show. He's usually like just the person behind the mic and talking about E3 and whatnot. But for those of you who are older like me, you know Jeff Keighley as an OG in the gaming world. Know what I mean by that? Well, Jeff Keighley, he used to run. I'm not sure if he owned it or started it, but he used to basically run, in my opinion, game trailers. Now, for those of you who don't know who that is, Back in the day, before YouTube kind of dominated the video market, you used to have a lot of sites who kind of had their own videos, right? And Game Trailers was one of them. Game Trailers, it had obviously Game Trailers, but it also had Game Reviews. And to me, between them and X-Play were like the best gaming reviews out there. But sadly, Game Trailers could not keep up with the times, had to end up closing down because sites like YouTube and them really, I guess they just couldn't compete anymore. But Jeff Keighley has still stayed with the gaming world. He still has done E3 and now he hosts the Game Awards as well. So it's kind of cool to see how he's done. But after the recent leak of, I believe, the devs that are appearing at this year's E3, Jeff Keighley basically made the decision he is not going to E3 this year. As Review Tech USA pointed out, he's not sure whether the fact that the ESA seems to be doing a really bad job with actually not getting its information leaked, or whether it's the leak itself. Whether he just was disappointed in which devs or how little devs are showing to E3 or whatnot this year. We don't know, but Jeff also pointed out himself in a statement that he basically wants E3 to get more digital and go more global. Basically, just kind of update itself because E3 has remained generally similar, even from its like manifestation, I believe, because Jeff has been like there for 25 years. So, for Jeff of all people to be leaving, it just kind of shows once again how E3 is on a decline. E3 has been on a decline for the last few years. I mean, when Sony decided they weren't showing up, it kind of dealt a big blow, and now Jeff Keighley's like, I'm not coming either. So it just kind of shows how, not completely irrelevant, but how less and less relevant E3 is getting over the years. With people being able to just go on digital platforms and announce what they want to announce whenever they want to announce it, like Nintendo Directs and whatnot, E3 isn't as necessary as it used to be. Back in the day, E3 used to be like gaming Christmas, basically. It used to be so many surprises, so many devs throwing so much stuff at you, and so many devs just showing up just to reveal their games. But now the devs can just go online and reveal whenever they feel like and whatnot. It's not as big as it used to be. But still, I think it's very relevant, and I think that it is still good for that you have that one time of the year where you have a lot of announcements, especially this year with new consoles coming out. It would be good to see them talk about the Xbox Series X. We do know that Sony's not going to show up, but I would like to hear them talk about the next Xbox at least. So it's just sad that now Jeff Cayley is leaving, even though he says he's open for a return probably like next year. Who knows? Maybe the ESA will kind of take this as a wake-up call and next year they'll really revamp E3. Maybe they'll make it a little bit more digital. Maybe they'll make it more global so they get more views worldwide. Maybe they'll actually make big changes, though I, I would still want them to keep their show floor. I wouldn't want them to just go all digital because going to E3, going to the show floor, actually trying out the demos and talking to devs and whatnot, that's what is a lot of fun about E3, I believe. So I would want them to keep some of that, like the show floor and even like the uh, press conferences. But they do definitely need to upgrade, and hopefully by next year, we'll have Jeff Keighley back, maybe we'll have Sony back, and maybe E3 would have made the proper updates and upgrades that it can become a lot more relevant than it is now. But what do you guys think about Jeff Keighley not showing up to this year's E3 after showing up for the past 25 years? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and God bless you all.